In the previous Google Sheet video, we learned how to send HTML form data to Google Sheet using App Script. If you haven't seen that yet, check out the link in the description below. In today's video, we are going to take it a step further. We will automate a spreadsheet using Python that will allow us to read data from Google Sheet and send emails to all new users. Also, we will notify the admin whenever a new entry is added in the spreadsheet. We have a HTML form here. So when we submit this form, we will get all the data in our Google spreadsheet that is already has been done. So in this video, what we are going to do is we will create a Python script that will read this data from the Google spreadsheet and send email to every user. And also we will send a email to admin to notify that a new feedback is submitted to read this spreadsheet data with Python. You need some credential to authenticate. So let's get started with that. Just go to the Google Cloud platform. You will get the link in the description. So these are the previous project and you can create a new project from here. So here you just need to name your project. So after creating a new project, make sure that you are on the same project. Okay, so now search for a Google Drive and Google Spreadsheet API. And you need to enable this API. And also enable the Google Drive API. After enabling Google Drive and Spreadsheet API, you need to create a service account. Go to the IAM and Admin section. In the sidebar, you can see service account. Now just create a new service account from here. Name your service account and then click on create and continue. Then it will ask you to grant some access. You can skip this process by clicking on done. So now you just need to generate credentials. Just click here. And in the key section, you will get an option to add a new key. Just create a new key. And here you will get two options to set the key type. Select JSON and create. A new JSON file will be downloaded to your system. So in the JSON file, you will get a client email. Now you need to share your spreadsheet with this email. Just copy this email and in your spreadsheet, paste the email here and set the access to editor. Now we need to create our Python script that will read this spreadsheet data. So first you need to install some required packages. So in my case, these are already installed in my system. First we will import the gspread library. So this library will provide an interface for interacting with Google Sheets. Then we will import service account credentials from auth to client. And then we are going to import SMPT library that can be used to send emails using the SMPT server. We are going to import email message. It provides a convenient way to create and manipulate email messages. Here we are importing logging that will help us to track logs while sending email to the user. It will create a new file where we get all the logs of our script so here first we will define our sheet name it should be same as your spreadsheet name and then we will get the record by using the read google sheet function uh, and in this function we are using another function to authenticate google sheet and let's see the definition of authenticate google sheet function so in this function first we create a list of scopes it specifies the permissions that the application needs when accessing google sheet and google drive and then we will use service account credential class to load the credential from the JSON file that we get from the Google Cloud Console. And then we will use gspread library to authorize the credentials which return a authorized client and this client will be returned by the function. And here we will open our spreadsheet and then we will get all the details from the spreadsheet and then return all the records. So basically this function will return a record. Here we are iterating over the record using enumerate that will keep the index and the record so these are the records right now on our spreadsheet so if we print the record then you can see here we get all the records of our spreadsheet so when we submit this form by default status of the email will be new that we set during form submission in the javascript so you will get all the updated code in the description and now here we have a simple Python logic that if the email status is equals to new then we will send email to the user and also we send the notification email to the admin. So here we are using load email template function that will take file path and name in the parameter. Uh, it will open the file in read mode. So we are using this template in which we will replace the name with the username by using dot format function. So here we have passed the file path and the name of user and then we are using send email function that will take recipient's email subject and body in the parameter so in this function we are creating an instance of email message class that construct the email by setting its headers like uh, sender's email recipient's email subject and body here we have some smpt server configuration 
am using mail trap for testing purpose you can use another smpt server according to your need and then here we are using smpt library to send the email message with smpt server so after sending the email to user and admin so we will update the email status in the google sheet so in the update email status function we will take three parameters first the sheet name second one is the row number and third the status it will first authenticate the sheet which will return the client and then open the sheet and update the cell in that sheet if there is any error while sending emails we will set the email status to email failed and if the email status is equals to email failed it will again try to send the email and then update the status and if there is any error while resending the email it will again update the email status to email failed and that's all so when we run our script it created a new log file and in the log file you can see email is sent to all user and uh, on mail trap we can see that all the emails are sent so this email is for the user and uh, this is the notify email for the admin to automate your script you can use cron job or slary to run it in background but for testing purpose in this video i am using schedule module to handle the task scheduling the schedule module make it easy to run the script at regular intervals which is ideal in testing functionality locally now if i run the script with b flag and followed by the number like 1 it will schedule the task to run every 1 minute so if you check the log file you will see the entry showing that the script is running every 1 minute and sending the emails and updating the google sheet automatically uh, so this method is perfect for local testing but for production environments i just recommend using more robust solution like cron or slary for handling background tasks you will get the link of this source code in the description so if you found this video useful you can like the video and uh, subscribe for more content like this